Hey guys, Devin here with Admiral Off-Road, and today we're going to be adding some LED cubes to the back of the Jeep. Let's get started. We're going to be mounting these pods on the back of the roof rack of the Jeep, and that's going to allow me to use these old brackets that I had originally made for some lights that went on the front of the roof rack. All the holes are already drilled in the right spot. Uh, the lights were just a little bit too heavy that were originally on the front, but these lightweight pods shouldn't be an issue. For the backing plate on the mounting brackets, I'm just going to use some of the scrap metal I found in the shop. Uh, all I have to do is transfer these holes from this to this, and that way we can run some bolts through it, and it'll sandwich the bars on the roof rack, and that'll hold the light in place. So I got all the holes drilled in the backing plate. How this is going to work is we're going to run two bolts through here, and it's going to be angled a little bit like this. The roof rack is angled, but it's going to sandwich the bars of the roof rack in between to hold it in place, and then the light is going to hang from the bottom. Now that the brackets are all made, it's time for some paint. Now that we've got the brackets all painted up, we can mount them on the roof rack. The next thing we're going to do is attach the lights. I'm going to hang them upside down to keep them low and out of the way. We're up here on top of the Jeep now, just so I can show you how I ran some of the wires. We're behind one of the pods. I ran the wires across the back of the roof rack here to the second pod. There I have the two wires joined together, so that way I only have uh, one positive and one negative wire running up the side of the roof rack all the way to the front. From here, I'm going to run it through that hole that I already have in the roof for my front lights. I'm just going to run those two wires in as well. That hole in the roof goes right up here to where my dome lights are. To get to them, I'm just going to have to pry this piece of plastic off and remove these two little screws here. Now that we have the dome light removed, you can see the two wires we just pushed through. We have our negative here and our positive wire here. The negative wire, I'm just going to ground to the same bolt that I have the other lights grounded to. The positive wire, I'm going to push through the headliner, down the A-pillar, underneath the uh, dash, and to the switch panel that I've already made in a previous video. So I got the wires run through the headliner and down the A-pillar, and now we're at this point here. From here, I'm going to run the wires up underneath the dash here, and I'm going to run it through our center console and to our switch. Now that we've got the wire run to the switch panel, I'm going to add a connector and attach it to the switch. So I ran the power wire to the fuse panel here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to strip the end of the wire and then use one of these spare uh, fuse locations like number 8 right here. And I'm just going to take a spare fuse, and um, once I strip the wire, I'm going to push it in there, and then push the fuse in on top of it. I've already done that a couple times, and it's just an easy way to get a, a, a power source inside of the Jeep.
and there we go, it's in. Right, I just finished wiring up the switch. Uh, we have the power coming from the fuse going in the middle. We have the positive wire coming from the lights on this side. And I have a ground wire that I just tapped into from one of the ground wires on the other switches on the other side. So, when I flip the switch on, that light comes on, and out back, first lights come on. The only thing left to do now is wait till it gets dark and test them out at night. Here's a picture of the Jeep with both the stock reverse lights on and the pods on. And for comparison, here's a picture of just the stock reverse lights on the garage door. And now the stock reverse lights and the pods on the garage door. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. If you like what you saw here, please like and subscribe. If you want to know how to change your transmission fluid and filter, go ahead and click over here. And if you want to know how to make your Cherokee doors removable, click over here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.